Good morning. All right, I caught you at a good time. Uh, Got to fix all the windows. <clears throat> so I'm still looking for this crash. Uh, asked for help. And... I didn't get a whole lot. Oh, well, the hydrogen bot is uh, on the spot. I wish I could shrink that notice. <clears throat> anyway. So, uh, I didn't get this instance up yet. Uh, let's uh, see what the last one looked like. Uh, so, I think this should upload and give me a URL. Meanwhile, uh, tools scripts we've currently got properties turned off so what was our state of the crash we've got filter defaults filter create
So was this a, okay, it's not doing defaults anymore. Unload function in the script. Hmm. Well, I'm not getting a reproduction currently. I forget what the last change I made was. I did find that uh, calling script log in uh, a filter destroy All right, it was a bad idea. <clears throat> Uh, as was a lot of cleanup type things in the script unload. All right, so actually we're not seem to be getting Reproduction with this exact, and the, that's the problem with kind of going between days. You forget what the last change you made was. I mean, I guess I could just do like a throwaway git branch just for all the little changes I make. So what's the state of this? You know what, I think I was looking, working on properties last time. Script properties, we have removed the body of the function. And we seem to be fine at the moment. So let's just put the whole thing back and check that. Okay, now it's not even calling defaults anymore because just to get the runtime state. Oh, got one. And did I have, yeah, destroy. 
unload. All right, uh, and I've not actually killed you yet. <clears throat> so we have to have script properties and a filter, huh? So script properties. Uh, let's see if we can get this to a simplified example of properties. <clears throat> uh, so we know we think that that doesn't crash. Uh, let us see. Let's just try basic properties. Maybe it's something to do with the variable stuff. Huh. A crash from script unload. Uh, script log, call destroy. Undef Lua script sources. Okay, there's reload, script reload, script reload. Un oh, undef Lua script sources. Call destroy. Let's have a look at the latest ones. I guess, yeah, I was looking. Call funk, call destroy. Okay, so that's interesting. So maybe it's a system script log? Because we are seeing that destroy again. Which I kind of figured out that it was happening during shutdown. Yeah, destroy what? There was some stuff about source, wasn't there? Yeah, undef Lua script sources. Offsite, OBS Studio. OBS scripting. Uh, OBS scripting? Oh! Dot DLL. Okay. OBS Lua script. Undef Lua script sources. Yeah, that's mistyped. Okay, so we've got extern, there's Lua script unload. Uh, 
that's the call to it. So scripting the resource. <clears throat> There's a mutex lock. Undef source type. We had multiples at a time. Ooh, that's an inline. Well, it always does that, so it can't just be that they're like relocking the same things. Enable source type false. Call destroy. Yep, it's in call destroy. <clears throat> so is there a default destroy function if I don't define one? And is that raising an error under some circumstance? Wait a minute. Call func destroy. Where are we defining this? Is get callback defining that as a global variable or something? Oh, define get callback. Get callback from table. Script minus one val defunk. I wonder if one of those stringifies it. Script minus one is stack position, maybe? Yeah, this must stringify it to a key. Info dot val. Oh, right, because that's a macro. So info dot destroy equals OBS Lewis source destroy. But there's a V and an info. So what are V and info? A source info and an OBS Lewis source. Source, yeah, source definition, okay, so source definition is this thing, which the table is kind of implicating. And then source is the actual thing. So get call back from table, what does that do?
Wait, so that wraps it. Get callback from table blah, blah, blah with function name. Does warn call script log? Maybe there's fewer instances of script log than warn. I don't know. Stern void script log. Script error. Script warn. Add funk script log. Data scripts. Ah, okay, that's the actual script. Yeah, I'm not seeing that Warren does that. Uh, what was... So let's get this into the file we were working on. Yep. So we got lock and lock, Lewis source def mutex. LS, Lewis source definition mutex. OBS Lewis script data. First source, call destroy. Well, we know we're inside call destroy. And we were inside call funk. Call funk underscore, right? Uh, pick one. Yeah, call funk underscore, which goes into Lua. Um, so we're assuming that there is something called LS. Lua script, I guess. So this would be funk destroy, I assume. Args returns name. Let's let's display name. Static inline bool, Lua state. Reg IDX. Args rats. const char function name, display name. Well, there is a script warn there, failed to call function. Hmm. 
which Oh right, wait, let's uh verify if we've got a crushing state here. Which I had cut down. Hmm, we appear to not with the variable properties. Oh, I had actually commented this backwards. Huh? I think I had meant to do this. Maybe I didn't save? Hmm. All right, well. So it wasn't reproducing with the reduced set of properties. Also, we uncommented destroy with nothing in it. Oh. All right, so now <clears throat> destroy should exist. Uh, I've surely got this still up, right? Yeah. Wait, am I not getting crash logs anymore? Well... I thought yesterday was 27th. Yeah, today's the 28th. What the... D. Uh, this isn't giving me the path. Maybe here? C. Oh, no. Those are recent paths. Okay, front end scripts. D. Yeah, this is the isolated copy. Uh, okay, actually, no. <clears throat> uh, crash report uh, when killing a uh, frozen instance. That must have been when I was calling a script log from uh, filter destroy. And Aserat Gaming, thank you for the host. All right. Which puts us back to these base level properties are sufficient. Hmm. To cause the issue. And it's weird 
because it does seem to be happening on Teardown. Unless there's a uh, lag. Oh, and hello, Alex. Oh, unfortunately, I don't have any alarms on the YouTube side. I wonder if there's a way to do. I wonder, I wonder if there's a equivalent of chatty for YouTube stuff. Uh, and, <clears throat> oh, that, 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 that wrong way. Okay, so we, we've actually, we actually have put this back to out. And we had a crash there. So script properties seems to be implicated. Uh, well. Let's just remove these one by one then. I can kind of guess it's going to be the variable one, but... Or maybe just the number of properties? Or is it actually set enabled? Okay, is this just dumb luck? Or is it that one source? Or is it that number of sources? Well, it is pretty unlikely right now. All right, it's pretty unlikely right now, uh, and it gets more. We did have a crash in that state, and I don't know that we're going to have any. Is that going to add any actual definitions? Well, that's the timer and operator. Or was that last crash when I had the filter, the script destroy up again? Oh, okay. So it takes a sweet time.
All right, uh, script properties. Um, hmm. Can we isolate number of properties from the specific properties? Uh, for, oh, how does it go? I equals, I don't know, 110 do. OBS dot OBS properties add text props uh, prop plus I property I What's the what's the value on properties add text? Oh. Where did I get you from? Why are you getting, why are you getting a zero? And what is Mm, I forget if, well, there's actually a, a way to determine, well, uh, C enum, does it start at zero or one? That is something I've forgotten. Underlying type, the enumerator list is, an, is a single enumerator with value zero. A equals zero. So that is text OBS text default. I should probably use OBS text default. But, uh, all right, let's, let's go ahead and play this out. So we've got like 10 properties to find now. And we know that with fewer total properties, we were, oh, nope, just the bar is getting small. OK, 
Okay, so it's looking like text is not it. Okay, it's not just the number of properties. Uh, now we had we had that actually doing something with it. All right, so we seem to be able to rule that out. Uh, so we've got buttons. Uh, test alarm. They can all do the same thing. They can do that. Okay, it doesn't seem to be the button. Uh, so label button, we've got, I never quite narrowed these down, but all right, so we need alarm source, I, alarm media source, I, calling them sources multiple times. Okay, so far no reproduction <clears throat> from that. Wait, nope, okay. All right, well, I'm gonna take a short break. Uh, when we come back, we're gonna dig into the, the sub-function call on the property creation, see if we can find anything in there.
All right, uh, get rid of that. Oh, you know what? I never got my alarms up. There we go. Uh, and then that, and that. And then get all my layers set up again. All right, so we've had no luck with any of these properties. So we kind of need to go into you. And I'm just going to grab script properties. Oh, it's actually right up here. It's not, it's not so bad. <clears throat> and then kind of take these one by one. Timeout doesn't seem like it's going to be a big deal. All right, timeout. One. I mean, that's just the label, but. Oop, that it. I mean, that's just a number box. That doesn't seem like a big deal. Yeah, the only thing uh, that is implicated right now is, um, was it video tick? <clears throat> but it does not reproduce if I do a small example with just that. <clears throat> Properties. <clears throat> uh, so timeout seems to be not. I mean, it's it's a very simple thing, so that's not too surprising. Uh, operator is a little bit more involved. Now the audio sources might be a little more interesting, but I don't know why that would be an issue. All right, operator I, operator I, uh, that's what's referencing that local variable. Okay, so far in our reproduction with just that.
All right. Oh. <laughs> okay, so my text is all the same. All right, so it seems to not be that. So now we got the loop. <clears throat> it doesn't have a whole lot in it right now. All right, source name, I, source name, I, and then it's a local variable. Hmm? Oh, yeah, indeed. But we were getting crashes with that, with just the straight up list of properties. But that does seem, because that was the last thing in this audio source properties. Is this having another fun a sub function? I think that was it. But we were getting crashes if we did everything. And maybe I'm just not waiting long enough? Yeah, I just took a break, thanks. Hmm, maybe I wasn't patient enough. Oh. That seems within the range of what I was seeing before. So it's not any one of these things. Is it calling a sub function? Wait. Oh, that actually made it... Well, it could be random chance. So it's not any one of them. But I am actually curious if that's become more... Uh, crashy now, or if it's just random chance. No, that actually seems to be going faster.
All right, so now I'm curious. Now that I have that reproducing... Does video tick still matter? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, uh, some stuff with script properties, but it seems pretty finicky. All right, so we've got that. If we do this in a sub function, it happens sometimes. If we do it in the same function, it happens in less time. But it's not any one of these. I mean, we could try to do kind of a, so we inline this stuff. Since it's happening a little bit more frequently now, maybe we can run through possibilities here a bit faster. So, I mean, I've done 10 different things in a loop, and it was fine. All right, so without that stuff, it seems to be... And we already, I think we just tried removing this, which is the stuff not in line. All right, we've got defaults, we've got update off, uh, we've got the filter doing nothing. Defaults, well, defaults got called once. Height and width might be getting called. Video render, we're doing nothing. Some of this stuff may still be going off. I've mostly got it turned off.
script load is completely turned off. Script description. We're not using dump OBS. I don't think we're using any of this stuff. So let's file. Um, All right, write that. Uh, try to, what were we using OS for? I th think. The alarm stuff should be out, uh, rule stuff. I think source rules are going to be out. Like all the eh, enum sources, alarm stuff, I think is all out. Dump rule, bootstrap rule settings. I uh, still, well, those functions weren't getting called, I think. Yeah, so just to remove all this commented out stuff. So we're trying to get this to a minimal example. So get defaults, it's called. Get properties, never gets called. Update, never gets called. Uh, we are not using that. That's sort of a reasonable stand-in. This is not doing anything useful. This was the other source that we're not using. All right, so bootstrap, not getting called. Uh, update rule settings, I don't think. There's script update. There's script defaults. You're not getting called. Audio default settings. Technically called once. We could actually try um, seeing if we can get rid of that. Run rule. Uh, check alarm should not be getting called. Oh. Examine source states. But these hooks are not being installed, which we can kind of verify there. I'm pretty sure all hooks are off. We're not going to dump OBS. Uh, source mute. Source active. And if these are being called, then I want to know about that, which means you should not be called. Uh, these. Really? How the heck do I... Ins <laughs> How the heck do you even... Uh... Okay, so that's technically being called... Uh, oh, test alarm. Uh, we're just gonna... yeah. Is technically being called by the button. Uh, run rule, not being called. Audio default settings is called. We can see about removing that. Enum sources is in its properties. All right, source rules is not used. Video sources not used. Audio sources is used twice with nothing in it. Uh, 
bit is not technically used. All right, uh, so technically this is a different script. Lua minimal crash filter minimal crash. Uh, description attempt to reproduce a crash when reloading scripts and we may have to update this later so we go into OBS here uh, I believe you had this filter we remove this script we add Minimal crash. And actually, let's... Video tick was implicated, but hey, as long as we're here. That seems to be a no. And I mean, removing that, even though it seems to be the teardown procedure. Okay. Now, does this reproduce? Mm. It's like, what am I doing? Oh. Okay, that does reproduce. All right, so the other thing I wanted was uh, filter def get defaults. Will it reproduce without that? Is that some more code I can just kind of get out of the way? Uh, now what I have to do here, since that was the defaults of that, we have to remove that, uh, make sure we've reloaded this. Okay. Uh, so we can get rid of that function. Then it's down to filter create the sort of minimal stuff for a function to exist. Or for a filter to exist. Uh, uh, video status actually is not used. Audio status is technically used, but could be replaced. Um, also, add audio real properties. It is only interesting for the sort of counterpoint. So now, all right, that's changes. Technically, all 
And there we go. All right, so audio status. So true is muted, and this is live. And then we can remove that function. All right, what do we got? We've got script properties. We've got our filter def, which is pretty minimal. Uh, audio sources, which I kind of think we could probably remove that. Since it doesn't actually create any properties. Our? 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 Oh, there we go. Okay. But that did seem like it was less likely. And it's a literally, a, it's a zero iteration. What? Because it would normally crash right around here. And the one time I was doing this, I was doing like 10 copies of this thing. Yeah, it's much less likely now. So technically the symbol source recurs up there. The... Oh? Or is this just random crash weather. Really? Okay, it's just random crash weather? What the heck? And this is where I wish I was paying attention to what I changed recently. I, mean, I got rid of the sub function down here, but this code isn't even being executed. Oh, 
Oh, also, next filter ID. That's definitely completely dead. It used to be... You could just start up and get a crash right around here. What the heck? Oh, okay, so it's not as reliable. So it just suddenly became a lot less reliable for some reason. Which makes me doubt the whole, does this thing matter? But it is weird that removing a function call from a loop that wasn't used. seem to affect the probability of the crash. I thought I tested it once and it was fine. But I think that was the most recent change. What the heck? Uh, oh, there's the properties. Well, maybe it was the previous change. Oh. Oh boy, a difference in crash rates based on a code that is never called.
Now, at one time, I had looped this, all of the things in here, ten times over. And, you know, we could do a hundred or whatever. And we do source.name, i, source.name, i. And now it's less likely? I could think of reasons why that might matter if the code was being called. Like there's some weird thing where like if you're just using the script, the source name, it's actually using the underlying string and doing a double free or something. Uh, well, since... We're never actually executing this. Won't matter that we create instances of it. Oh. So we never got it to go. When it was Hmm. Oh, I actually am still doing this one. So I've only added code. Wait, I've only added code. But putting the loop around here prevent makes it less likely to crash. All right, so what if I don't do it in a loop? I was always adding stuff in loops. What if we just have copies? Okay, so it still goes, but it almost seems less likely.
All right, well, how about the button? Because that gets rid of a function. Seems less crushy. Or maybe that's just where we're at th at these days. Some of that didn't, didn't make a difference. Uh, I think Enium Sources is only called the once. Okay, so that does seem to be related. The problem is that we could just as easily remove everything else with, I think, similar results. Can't see my scroll bar. Oh. Okay. I just want to confirm that because that'd be a whole lot of stuff we could remove. And I, I'm sure I tried just doing that one thing or doing it multiple times. Well, okay, so that is taking a bit longer there. But it will crash. Okay, so it's less likely now. Notably so. Hmm. So 
So I guess the only thing I can theorize right now is that we have filter create and then we do properties. And there's some sort of deadlock in the various functions that it's calling. So this is kind of bad because we reuse variables. Oops, I didn't mean to remove those, but works just as well for doing a second copy. And then we're getting something that's happening. Yeah, that with video tick, essentially. And video tick comes along and ooh. Yeah, oh, you know what? Technically, we're defining things the same name. So why, then, would the loops not work? Because that's just adding stuff. Maybe I didn't add enough loops? Alarm source, I, alarm media source, I. Okay, yep, that took a little while to start up. Hmm. So that's spending a lot of time in the properties function now. But we're not getting... actual crashes out of it. Well, not any more readily than we were before. Well, maybe a little bit more readily. Uh, let's see. All right, can I do that with something simpler? Oh yes, that's a bit faster. It's the source enumeration that was really taking the time there. But that's if anything less likely to have issues. All right, so what if we just do this a few times? Oops. Maybe it's the enum helper. Hmm. It's no more likely than it was before.
But if we take the entire thing, well, okay, so here's a quick little question for you. Uh, function That a few times. And I'm not changing the name, so we're not actually getting new properties. Okay. All right, so if it's just the length of the function. Yeah, that didn't, I think it made it less likely. That's bizarre. Really? I don't think I changed anything else. I don't think I changed anything else. Well, what we did see was doing full copies of this seemed to have high correspondence with crashing. Or it did before. You know, I can't get anything to reproduce. Which cuts casts down in every test I've done.
All right. Uh... This was the state before we did everything. All the attempts at minimization. Can't see my scroll bar. And this was the thing we captured that seemed to be reproducing pretty well. Now I just can't get it to crash. Well, I mean, if it's not crashing, it can continue, continue development. Um, what we've got right now is like video tick and something to do with properties. Uh, all right. So sort we of got something in minimal state we can go back to. Uh, let's see, we want to, I guess, want to get and actually forgot about the notes, uh, crash notes. So real thing, which will go through the printouts much faster, and the real thing is still crashing. Well, there's still something going on. Now, is this something where we could take this back? Do our minimal setup. And actually have something happening. Oh. Okay. Well, that was after having the other one loaded. Correct. 
crashed quite quickly. So, was it actually something in unloading the larger script? So my actual script in progress crashes quite easily. And we still don't have an isolation of what I might be doing that's messing it up. Yep. Wrong tab, I guess. <laughs> so I had this doing something. Well, we know it goes away if we do video tech. So, I guess I could try different ways of getting the height than width without video tech. Uh, that might be actually a better thing for tomorrow. Just because I'm really stumped. On the actual debugging end. And, you know, maybe I need to have like a get branch or something where I track every single trial. And then like version control, approximate number of clicks to crash. Because I've somehow gotten minimal crash to the point where it doesn't crash. Yeah, actually I'm thinking it's a prob it might be time to wrap up for lunch and just be gone. Because I put this back to the point where I thought, well... Actually, no, I haven't. Not quite. This was the multiple copies.
Uh, I would, wouldn't expect that to make it less likely. Oh, okay. So doing it twice makes it more likely doing... What? Doing it twice makes it more likely. Doing it three times makes it almost never happen. Or maybe it's just as likely. No, no, making it longer makes it less likely. Okay. Wow. So this might be the minimal example. Now, I guess one thing I could try is this was always a little bit of a thing here. Local sources, source in Lake O'Neill for source in I pairs. Oh. I mean, that was sort of, oh, no, there it goes. Took a little bit longer, though. So I guess we consider that part of the minimal example.
All right, so description. Um, add the minimal crash filter to a video source. <clears throat> And then hit reload scripts until OBS freezes. This is as small as I've gotten the example. Everything I remove from here seems to make Crash is less likely. Uh, not having video tick in particular. Seems to prevent the freezes. Which actually, since I've got a pretty minimal example right now, take a quick look at that. See if it's just less likely? Of course, at some point it becomes so unlikely you don't notice. Oh, that was video render. Interesting that that also had that effect. Hmm. Now, in practice, I have to have a video render to pass through the contents. Interesting that removing video render also did it, though. Or it's just not feeling like crashing right now. <laughs> Which is how this seems to go. Okay, there we go. All right, so we think we're just going to have to find a way to get the size without doing video tick.
Uh... I haven't really checked on my previous threads in a while. They're, they're pretty buried, probably. Uh, watch threads. That are unread. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, bug reports, no replies. Uh, uh, OBS sometimes freezes when reloading script with custom filter with Lua filter. <clears throat> All right, uh, I've had occasional freezes while trying to develop a script. Um, I tried to push through it. For a while, because a script reload is not a common user operation, but it has gotten pretty annoying. <clears throat> Uh, I've tried to reduce a minimal example that have not had great success. Um, it seems to depend on the video tick function as well as the uh, as well as peculiar contents of the script properties function. Most changes beyond this point make the crash less likely. Load the attached script, uh, add the minimal crash filter to a video source, and then reload the script until OBS freezes. Let's try and get an approximate count. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, thirty six, thirty seven, and forty. It's usually more than this. And of course, now it's not reproducing. There we go. Uh, 
Well, let's try and get the approximate number where it used to feel like it was happening. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Often takes around twenty, can take many more. Often takes around twenty reloads in dedicated testing, can take many more. On existence of video tick function, Um, since OBS freezes and I have, and I have to kill it, there is no crash log. Uh, oh, that's right. I have to take this and... Added that text to it. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, I was using text GDI plus Yeah, crash freeze.
ex well, that's better existence All right, and then that's about all I can do for now. It is time for lunch. Uh, let's see what I'm doing this afternoon. We've still got the neuro slices open, although I think... Well, they might actually be going to their dev stuff right now. Let's... Uh, if I can dig through all my windows. Uh, no, actually, I didn't want you there. I don't actually see him up, though. I thought they were going to be doing a dev stream now. Anyway, what else do we got? Actually, hmm. Well, it's a little bigger, but I do see a coding stream up. It's like T-Sodding might be trying to start up from scratch. Okay. On a, ga on a game design. All right, well, uh, so last time I was there, there was music. So I usually don't like uh, something that's done well. And he does swear occasionally, so just be advised if you care about those things. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to be back with some, either one hour one life or neuro slice this afternoon. I'll have to see what's going on, what I feel like. But, uh, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh,